not having to change a bulb ever um, and not having to pay labor to change that bulb really is what give, makes this pr projector unique and um, really is a super good value for the end user. So um, we're just showing here kind of, uh, again, some of the highlights of the projector. It, it, it uses a solid state light source. While the projector's on, you can actually move it around without having to worry about damaging the, uh, any of the internal hardware related to the projector. Uh, if you press the power button, in five seconds it, it powers up to full brightness. If you yank the power cord, which is a big no-no with your traditional projector, um, it'll actually uh, won't damage uh, the bulb at all because there is no mercury in there. Um, so again, if um, you know w when you yank that power, there's there's uh, no way that you can damage the projector at all. Um, this particular unit, how it differs from the original, uh, is really based on a couple features. Um, the interactive the interactive uh, capability of it. It does have an option where you can have a pen an interactive pen with software that will turn uh, your projector into a uh, um, the ability to annotize and, um, and actually annotate on the screen um, within PowerPoint and we can show a quick example of that here um, using my pen I can just kind of go to the top of the screen and while that software is running it'll actually uh, jump right into Casio's uh, software and let me do things like that where I can uh, zoom in if I wanted to annotate on the screen, I just right click um, on the pen and what I can do here is go to a draw mode where I can do things like the bad one. So here's things like that. I mean really if I had a little bit better hand you can kind of see uh, what you could do with this. I could change the thickness of this. I can draw on here if I want to highlight something in, in particular. Again if I right click I can go back to my mouse mode here and now I easily scroll through. Um, easily scroll through these slides. So just something to consider. Um, there is also a Mobi Show feature which enables any smartphone to be able to project its image onto the projector. So that is, uh, that is another option here with the short throw. So just something, something to consider. Again, um, when I go to the top of the screen it actually goes into, uh, into a different mode. So this is just an example of kind of Casio's hybrid light source and uh, a little bit of this may be redundant um, with the uh, previous video we did, but it's still, still worthy to mention um, that it's very high brightness. Um, again, there's no mercury in here, so it is a green projector. Any kind of green initiatives that some of your school districts are working on, definitely something that, that they're gonna wanna consider. Um, this particular model runs pretty cool too, actually. You don't really have to worry about too much heat coming from this projector. Um, the wireless function is something else here that we want to show. Um, this gives the ability for a desktop PC or a laptop to actually show its image on the projector without having a video feed going into it. So one of the key things here is that uh, if you have multiple users that want to collaborate and show uh, their screen on a projector at the same time uh, or whether they want to take over the presentation or give uh, somebody else rights to take over the presentation, we have that built in here. And that's just something I'm gonna demonstrate real quick. If I hit the input button, you can see my sources here. This, this particular model has two uh, VGA sources, S-Video, um, a regular composite video is still there for those uh, legacy DVD players and uh, legacy equipment that we, we're still using. Um, and then uh, the USB function, um, actually on the back of the projector there is a little USB dongle that enables the wireless uh, ability to be used. The VGA connection is actually not in the projector. So what I'm doing now is actually connecting to a Casio wireless network. So you can kind of see here it says Casio PJ default one. So basically instead of connecting to my home Wi-Fi network, you're just going to connect to the Casio projector. It acts as a, as a Wi-Fi hotspot. And when you do connect to that, um, you can see here I can actually display uh, my screen on the projector. Something else that's really neat about this is when I go to the wireless connection, I can actually project my, uh, my screen in different quadrants. So if I click quadrant one, I can actually put my laptop in this top, top left corner and, and you can see here it says George's laptop. Now if I had other laptops, I can easily have them in, in uh, different sections of the screen as well. 
and you can kind of use this as a collaboration tool I'm in a meeting room or something and it's very effective. Again, there's really, the only thing is you need is a small piece of software on your local PC and that's it. That's again something that's unique. That combined with the interactive pen and the uh, 20,000 hour light source really makes this projector unique in this space. Another thing about the projector is that you know, based on the lighting that's in the room, it'll actually uh, automatically dim or brighten the projector based on the ambient light. In this case, we actually have a fluorescent bulb sitting right above, right above this projector, trying to mimic a, a, a you know, a real K through 12 environment here. And um, it'll, like I said, I mean, depending on the brightness, it'll actually uh, tone it down or um, brighten it back up, depending on where it is. Another thing that's kind of unique with this Casio projector is the photo sensor. Um, and it's actually a really good way to, to, to save power with the projector. Um, the projector, like I said, it is a green projector, so it is mercury free, but it also um, actually will save a lot of power in your classroom with the photo sensor because what it actually does is it's taking the ambient light and depending on where that is, it will actually bump the brightness up or down to the projector and this yields a tremendous saving on the, not only your electricity bill, but on the environment as well. So to get the brightness um, that a lot of other projectors can get, you know, they really have to put out a lot of power where we can get that brightness with uh, very minimal power usage. And we can kind of show an example of that here. Uh, right now we're showing the projector with uh, the auto um, photo sensor and eco mode being on. Now you'll see here what we'll do is we'll add some uh, we'll add some light directly into the uh, photo sensor. So you, what you can kind of see here is the, the projector actually automatically brightening itself, um, seeing that there's that extra light in the room. Now you multiply that by you know hundreds of projectors and you can really see where you can save a lot of money here with Casio. As he takes the light off, notice how it does get a little bit dimmer. Again, that's technology that's built into every one of our units in the short throw series.